it's Delicia. So today I made real Belgian waffles and if you want to know how to make it, just keep watching. To make real Belgian waffles, you will need 1 and 1 third cups of all-purpose plain flour, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You will also need 5 grams of dry yeast and a pinch of salt, 1 to 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar, depending how sweet you would like your waffles to be. You will also need 160 grams of softened butter and 2 eggs. You will also need 2 thirds of a cup of pearl sugar. It is also known as hail sugar. And a quarter cup of lukewarm water. And also some cooking oil spray or extra butter to grease your waffle maker. You will also need a waffle maker. I found this really cute one in Target that makes love heart shaped waffles for about 20 or 30 dollars. I'm also using a mixer but you don't have to, you can just use a wooden spoon or use your hands to make the dough. So add your dry yeast and sugar to your lukewarm water, give it a stir and leave it for about 15 minutes to activate. And then in my mixer, I'm going to add the flour and salt and just give that a little mix. And then after 15 minutes, add your yeast and sugar mixture into the flour. And while that is mixing, slowly add your butter. A little bit by little bit so you can make sure your dough is nice and smooth and there are no lumps. So once you have added all the butter and it has combined into the dough, add one egg at a time and let it mix in between each of the eggs. And then add the vanilla extract and give that a final mix. So once you're done, this is basically what it should look like. A really thick kind of batter in between a cookie dough and like a cake mix. And then cover it up with some plastic wrap and leave it in a warm place for two hours to rest so it can double in size. So after letting it rest for two hours, this is what it's going to look like. You can see that it has doubled in size. And then after that, you're going to add the pearl sugar and just fold that in. Once you have folded it in, you're going to leave it for another 10 to 15 minutes to rest so it can just rise a little bit more. And then after 10-15 minutes, turn on your waffle maker and spray a little bit of that oil spray or add some butter. And then just add some of the mixture into your waffle maker. So the amount of dough that you will add will depend on your waffle maker. If you want to make smaller waffles, you'll add about 1 to 2 tablespoons. If you want to make bigger waffles, you'll probably add about 2 to 3 tablespoons. But it really depends on your waffle maker. So these waffles will take about 3 to 5 minutes to cook, depending on how much batter and the size of your waffle maker. So as you let your waffles cool, they will be more between a cookie and cake texture. So in between making the waffles, you might need to clean the waffle maker a little bit, just using some paper towel or something like that, because of the pearl sugar as it melts and crystallizes, it will start burning as you continue making more waffles. So this is how my waffles turned out. Don't they look delicious? I like to eat my waffles with some melted chocolate, but you can definitely eat your waffles with whatever you like. And now for a taste test. Taste it. Did you have to fit the whole thing in your mouth at once? Yeah.
What do you think of the waffle? I think it tastes like it's yummy. The waffle tastes delicious. Delicious? Yeah. <laughs> I took to you to the guys. Bye. Well, I think that's about it. So thanks for watching. Bye.